Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. So today we're going to do a couple of swatches of red lipsticks. Um, so if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Oh, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and uh, ring the bell and comment below and all those great things. So let's continue. This is going to be a short one. If you want to see how I apply all the makeup I have on, I'll link the video down below. So this is the swatches I have going on and the ones I will show you. So the first one is Pat McGrath and is Elson 3. So that will be this one. This two or this three are the three from uh, the new release from Juan Stefani. And so those are this babies. There's two like that. So we have the first one. This one is the matte. This one is the chine. And this one is the liquid. So the liquid lipstick comes in a different format than the other two I show you. That would be this one, okay? And then we have Lisa Eldridge, this one. And they're velvety the three velvety reds. And that will be, this is a ribbon, this is morning, and this is jazz. And then of course, I had to include the Dior uh, famous 999 red. Um, now you can tell, obviously morning is in a totally different lane in jazz as well, because morning is more red, I mean orange, and this one, I don't know, more uh, plum or these two are different. This one I also believe is different. This is kind of a true red, which is, this is the Dior 999, which is supposed to be this one's as well. <laughs> but no, this is definitely very blood red bull. And it is actually what I have on my lips today. And it's interesting because on my lips, it looks even a little um, darker. It gives this kind of uh, different colors. Even the inside looks a little more orangey. That's this first one. Then we have the two new releases, which seems that I have a little more pink. Actually, uh, the shimmer one, this one, uh, it's not shimmer, it's a shine. This one, when you apply it, it really looks glossy and then it starts fading off and it gives you this very sort of pinkish, reddish, beautiful tint. Now it's interesting that on the swatches, you can't really say that. Uh, and the matte, when you put it on, it applies a lot more orangey. So it's very interesting how in camera is there. I think you can see this has a little more pinkish, the shimmer one. And then this one, I don't think it translates the more orangey, especially when I have this one <laughs> in the picture, but um, very different reds. It gives you very different tints of your skin when you wear them too. So they might look very similar, but once you apply them, uh, uh, it, they change. Here, I think it looks more this one like it looks on my lips. And the... Um, Surprise for me is I really like this liquid lipstick from Gwen Stefani and uh, I love the boldness, the blood boldness that it gives me, but I'm not very big on liquid lipsticks. I don't like the way they feel on my lips, although this is not that bad, uh, but I really usually prefer not to, but I couldn't resist the boldness of the color. And what I'm wearing today is very, very similar but not the same. So each one, even though they're all red lipsticks, have a different effect, a different mood, a different uh, sort of uh, performance. It's just very interesting. Would I uh, recommend one versus the other? It's very hard because obviously I love makeup and I do see the distinctions in textures and colors. If you don't care that much about makeup, probably doesn't matter. Um, so I really like the velvet lipsticks of Lisa Eldridge. You might say, why? You know, I have heard this before, 
They're like, why? What's the whole fuss about them? Well, one of the important things is how it covers your whole lips, but it seems that a lot of them now are doing it. You see, I can still see some texture in my lips with the Pat McGrath. With the Lisa Eldridge, it looks velvety, really covers every line, everything. It looks like one color. Uh, and then on camera, it's just beautiful. You, you don't have to fuss around with the color because what you put is what shows. So I don't know if you can see in my skin. I mean, look at here. You can a little see the texture of my skin as I move it. But the Lisa Eldridge, nothing. It's just like, prum. The Gwen Stefani, the shiny one, it shows a little more texture of your skin, of your lips. But the matte just goes in. And I think that's why a lot of uh, makeup artists love the matte, or a lot of us like the matte application because of that sense of, it just covers your lips and it just shows the color versus when it has a little more shine or a little more transparency. So going back to the Lisa Eldridge's, this three, uh, that's why they're so uh, loved and, and talked about because you apply it and your lips just sort of disappear on that perfect velvet feel. And that looks gorgeous when you have a full right done makeup. I'm not very big on right done makeup, but I can appreciate definitely the colors and the textures of those. The Dior, of course, I recommend it because it's a well-loved through time. It's one of those that doesn't pass time and it's still a favorite, still a bestseller, Dior 999. And it's a completely true red and it, it, it's a well-balanced. So it has all the things that I just spoke about. Um, and of course, I'm finding a new love with the liquid uh, lipstick from Gwen Stefani. Uh, I have to say, like I did already, not very big on those uh, on liquid lipsticks, but I wore it yesterday and I was just in love of what it did for my complexion. And I got a lot of compliments. So it's just one of those very unique lipsticks. And last, um, the, the Chine uh, Wen Stefani lipstick, I really enjoy because uh, that pinkishness and that stain that I spoke about, I really appreciate that. But again, if I want a red lipstick throughout and it just stay, I will wear something like this. Having said that, you can reapply this as it fades away and it brings back the red and the shine. So it really depends on the mood you're in. It really depends on what you want or what the look uh, entails. If I had a little more pink in my eyes, I will wear this one. If I had more neutrals or barely there, I will wear this one. And so it, it would all depend. So I really like them. Uh, for the things that I said, let me know if you wear red lipstick, if you know have a favorite, if you like this sort of reviews. And, um, and there you have it. If you want to see how I created this look, I'll link it down below. And that's about all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do that. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.